What's up, everybody? So today, I will be reviewing the Don Carlos Presidente size from Arturo Fuente. A few things to know about this cigar is it is called the Presidente. It is a 6 by 50, so 6 inches, 50 is the ring gauge. And it is a African Cameroon wrapper with Dominican binder and filler. I'm going to go ahead and cut it, light it, and get into it. Right now on the retro hill, I'm getting like a roasted nuttiness. On the palate, I'm actually getting a subtle hint of cream. Also nutty on the palate. So on the palate, you're getting nuttiness and a subtle musk. On the retro hill, you're also getting that nuttiness and that subtle bit of musk. That's on light up. I'm going to go ahead and get into the first third, and I'll let you know what I get out of it. Okay, I've gotten through the first third, and on the palate, I'm getting almond. It's a slightly sweet almond. Uh, as you draw in, you're going to be receiving a slightly sweet cream. Uh, that sweetness is kind of like a molasses-like sweetness. On the retro hill, you'll be getting a subtle musk. It's, it's a pleasant musk. It's not anything very pungent. Uh, it's, a, it's like a musky almond leaning a little bit more toward musk. Uh, but it's, it's pleasant. It's extremely pleasant. And then on the finish, after you let it sit a while, you just get that cream. It's a really nice, subtly sweet cream. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and smoke through the second third and I'll be back. Okay, I finally reached close to the band. The burn it has been pretty good. I haven't had to touch it up. It's not a perfect burn, but it's a pretty good burn. Um, on the palate, what I've gotten is roasted almonds, a little pinch of salt, and a very slight cream. The cream kind of died down from the first third, but there wasn't that much cream to begin with. Uh, so it's mostly nutty on the palate. On the retro hail, the the muskiness kind of died down because it got a little bit creamier, but it's it's mainly musk. It's a musky, creamy almond like profile on the retro hail. Uh, very pleasant, especially with that little hint of cream that's added on the retro hail. And overall, the sweetness that you're going to get from it is still the same. It's still that molasses-like sweetness. I'll see you in the last third. Okay, so I'm at the end of the last third. And you basically get everything from the second third exactly the same way, except you add a little bit of cinnamon. So it's still that roasted almond on the palate. Uh, that subtle, subtle sweetness. The sweetness kind of falls back into the background because of the cinnamon. Um, on the retro hail, it's still that roasted, musky almond, uh, subtle creaminess to it. Um, my final thoughts on this. This cigar is absolutely perfect for pretty much anyone. This is medium full, and it doesn't reach even a slight bit of full until the very last third. And I also think that this cigar is perfect for a daily smoke. It's perfect for bringing it to anybody that you know likes cigars. This is very inoffensive. And on top of that, this cigar is also the perfect cigar to pair with any brown liquor. This will go with any brown liquor at all. 
So bourbon, rum, scotch, whiskey of any kind. This is this is the perfect cigar to pair. It's very classic in its nature. So this is an extremely traditional tasting blend. It tastes old school, although it's not the oldest cigar. It's not a new cigar either. This cigar has been around for a while. Um, and I've had many of these before. Uh, my final score is a 90. And this is a great anytime cigar. You could get away with smoking this cigar in the morning, the afternoon, and night. This is the perfect classic cigar. And when you smoke it, you realize that it's absolutely timeless. All right, that's the end of my review. Let me know in the comments if you smoke this, what you've thought about the Arturo Fuente Don Carlos in the Presidente size. Bye, y'all.